I'm going to show the uh, power on time. That second tone is the Bluetooth speaker connecting. Let's try out the uh, continuity beeper. Auto ranging speed, if your mega ohms to back to zero. The meter has some little feet down at the bottom, which are convenient for you to stand it up on the desk like that by itself. All right, the next thing I'm going to show you is the diode mode. To get there, you hit the continuity button twice. On the beeper, it goes to diode. This is a um, 1N5821 Schottky diode. Again, it's really fast, and the number is about what I'd expect. And 4002 uh, silicon diode. 25 volt voltage reference, the only thing I've got to really check the calibration with it. And um, here we go. On 2.499, and it settles pretty quickly. Let me do that one more time for you. And 2.499 again. Um, over on this side, you can see it tells me the time and the temperature, and I've checked the uh, temperature against a lab thermometer, and it's accurate within one digit. I mean, it might be 22.5 or 21.9 in here, I don't know. The clock has been running since I got the meter. I set it when I, the day I got the meter, and it's keeping good time. It's within a minute of what I set it to, probably a few seconds of what I set it to. Right now, it's looks like looks to be about 40 seconds fast but i probably didn't set it closer than about one minute of actual time what else i've tried all the ranges they all work i haven't uh, noticed anything really wrong or bad about the meter the worst feature is probably the power switches in the back um, the other thing which i don't like about this meter is the fuses are hard to get to you have to disassemble the meter to get to them there are pictures, people, someone on the uh, EEV blog website has taken the meter apart and posted pictures. I'm not going to do that since I know what it's like inside now. The bar graph works just fine. I don't usually use a bar graph much, but it does work. As a speaker, it's pretty dreadful. It's audible distortion. I would not recommend buying this for the speaker. I mean, it's there as a gag or for fun, but it's not really that useful. If you leave it just idle without a, an input after about five minutes, it will beep once and then this switches to being the clock and that switches to being temperature. Not really useful, honestly, but what the heck. Here's the back side of the meter. Um, there's a DC 5 volt, just a USB charge port, which has a nice little cover to keep the spilled coffee out of. Um, the two 18650 batteries go under here, power on off. These are just for setting. This one switches the temperature between centigrade and Fahrenheit. Um, these buttons let you set the clock and the alarm, which I used to set the clock when I put batteries in it, and I haven't touched them since, since I'm not going to use the alarm on this thing ever. It's, I don't know, someone might be able to use it. There's some very long screws here that you have to take out to get the back out if you need to get the fuses. And that's about it. Okay, this is a 22 microfarad capacitor. It's going to be a 349 ohm 1% resistor.